Have you ever wondered about the mysterious patterns that appear overnight in crop fields? Picture this, immense patterns, sometimes spanning hundreds of feet, mysteriously etched into fields of barley, corn, and wheat. These are no ordinary patterns, but intricate designs known as crop circles or agroglyphos. Crop circles are typically circular, but can take on a variety of shapes, from simple circles to complex geometric forms. They are characterized by the flattening of crops in a way that forms a pattern when viewed from above. The size varies, but they often span more than 100 feet in diameter. The appearance of these designs is as mystifying as their origin. They appear suddenly, often overnight, leaving the crops bent but not broken. This intricate yet perplexing phenomenon has sparked curiosity and fascination worldwide. Now that we know what crop circles are, let's delve into their history. Crop circles, a phenomenon that we associate with the modern era, have a history that goes way back. While today they're known for their intricate designs and mysterious origins, they started as simple circles in the crops, hence the name. The first recorded instance of a crop circle dates back to 1678, in a little place called Hertfordshire, England. There, a pamphlet known as The Mowing Devil, depicted a strange occurrence. A farmer, refusing to pay the price demanded by a laborer to mow his field, declared he'd rather the devil do it. That night, his field appeared as if it had been mowed by a supernatural force, with perfect, circular patterns. This is often considered the first unofficial sighting of a crop circle. Fast forward to the late 20th century, crop circles began to appear more frequently and with increasing complexity. The 1970s saw a significant surge in crop circle sightings, particularly in southern England. These formations were no longer just simple circles but elaborate designs, sometimes spanning hundreds of feet. The 1980s marked a turning point in the history of crop circles. Two Englishmen, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley, came forward in 1991, claiming they had been creating crop circles since the late 1970s, using simple tools like planks, ropes, and hats with wires. Their confessions sparked a global phenomenon, inspiring others to create their own crop circles. Yet not all crop circles could be attributed to these human pranksters. Many formations exhibited characteristics that seemed beyond human capability, such as intricate geometric patterns, precise mathematical ratios, and anomalies in the crops themselves. These unexplained instances keep the mystery of crop circles alive. From the earliest recorded mowing devil to modern geometric masterpieces, crop circles have evolved and captured our imagination. They've transitioned from being perceived as devilish pranks to possible messages from beyond. And while human tricksters have claimed many, the origin of others remains a mystery, fueling ongoing debates and fascination around the world. From simple circles to complex patterns, crop circles have evolved over the centuries. The crop circles we see today are far from simple. They are masterpieces of design and symmetry, often showcasing complex geometric patterns that are truly mind-boggling. Picture a vast canvas of wheat, barley, or rye, beautifully manipulated into intricate shapes that could rival the most elaborate mandalas. From simple circles and rings in the early days, crop circles have evolved into elaborate formations that include squares, triangles, and even three-dimensional shapes. Some designs are so intricate, they seem to encode mathematical constants and proportions found in nature, like the golden ratio. They display a level of precision and complexity that is nothing short of astounding. Over the years, the complexity of these formations has only increased, a testament to the ever-evolving mystery that surrounds them. The designs seem to be growing more intricate, more detailed and more enigmatic, keeping us intrigued and puzzled. These intricate designs continue to baffle us but where exactly can we find them? Crop circles are a worldwide phenomenon but some places see them more than others. One might wonder where these fascinating patterns frequently appear, and the answer is quite intriguing. Crop circles are most commonly reported in the United Kingdom, with the English county of Wiltshire being a particular hotbed of activity. This area is known for its ancient landmarks such as Stonehenge and Avebury, which adds another layer of mystery to the prevalence of crop circles here. Outside of the UK, crop circles have been reported in over 30 countries spanning across continents from the United States to Japan and Australia to Russia. Surprisingly, they're not limited to grain fields but have also been found in snow, ice, and even sand. The geographical distribution of crop circles is as diverse as the designs themselves, suggesting a global rather than localized phenomenon. Theories about the origin of these mysterious patterns abound, let's explore some of them. From natural phenomena to extraterrestrial activity, theories about crop circles are as varied as their designs. Let's dive into the sea of theories. 
One of the most straightforward explanations for crop circles is that they are the result of natural phenomena. Some propose that these intricate patterns are born from unusual weather patterns or atmospheric conditions. For instance, whirlwinds and mini tornadoes might be responsible for bending the crops into these fascinating shapes. But what about the complexity and precision of the designs? Some believe that the Earth's magnetic field or even plasma vortices could be at play. These natural forces, they argue, could create highly complex patterns in the blink of an eye. However, not everyone is satisfied with these natural explanations. Enter the alien enthusiasts. Extraterrestrial involvement is a theory that has gained popularity over the years. Some argue that these circles are messages from advanced civilizations, a cosmic hello if you will, or perhaps complex blueprints for interstellar travel. Then, there are those who believe in the more spiritual or metaphysical origins of crop circles. They see these formations as signs or messages from the universe, spiritual entities, or even Mother Earth herself. But wait, there's more. One of the most famous theories involves two Englishmen, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley. In the late 20th century, they claimed that they had been making crop circles in England for decades as a prank. Using simple tools like planks, ropes, and baseball caps fitted with wires, they created hundreds of crop circles, sowing the seeds of the hoax theory. Yet, their claim to be the sole creators of all crop circles worldwide has been disputed, as many formations exhibit a level of complexity and precision that seems beyond the reach of a couple of pranksters. While these theories offer potential explanations, what do scientists have to say about crop circles? Crop circles have caught the attention of scientists and researchers worldwide. The question that comes to mind is, what could possibly create these intricate and large-scale patterns overnight? The answer is not as simple as it seems. Over the years, various scientific studies have been conducted with the aim of unraveling this mystery. Some researchers have delved into the realm of physics, looking at the distribution of electromagnetic energy within these formations. Others have explored the botanical aspect, examining the stalks and soil for anomalies. Biophysicist W.C. Levengood proposed a theory that crop circles might be created by atmospheric phenomena, like plasma vortices. However, this theory, like many others, is still a topic of debate. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the scientific community continues its pursuit of the truth, driven by curiosity and the desire to understand the unexplained. Crop circles, with their mystique and allure, inspire interpretations and even art. Beyond the mystery, crop circles have sparked the imagination of artists and enthusiasts alike. These enormous canvases of crop fields serve as a playground for creativity, inspiring awe and fascination in equal measure. Some interpret these enigmatic patterns as messages from extraterrestrial beings, seeing in their intricate designs a language yet to be deciphered. Others find spiritual significance, viewing crop circles as symbols of unity and harmony, a celestial nod to the interconnectedness of all life forms. In the world of art, crop circles are celebrated as a unique form of land art. Their fleeting existence, subject to the whims of weather and time, adds an ephemeral quality that makes them even more captivating. Artists and designers draw inspiration from these patterns, incorporating their symmetry and complexity into various art forms. As we marvel at these spectacular patterns, we should also consider their impact on crop fields. Crop circles, while a wonder to behold, can have significant impacts on crops. When these intricate designs appear overnight, they're not just bending stalks and creating patterns. They're affecting the livelihood of farmers, with potentially vast areas of crops rendered unharvestable. On the flip side, the mystery and allure of these formations can also turn a simple field into a tourist attraction. Visitors flock from far and wide, drawn by the enigma, the artistry, and the sheer spectacle of it all. This can bring a boon to local businesses, injecting revenue into the community. Yet, it's a double-edged sword. The increased foot traffic can cause further damage not just to the crops within the circles but to the surrounding fields as well. It's an intricate dance balancing the fascination with the pragmatic realities of agriculture. So, crop circles, a mystery, an art, or a nuisance? The answer might depend on who you ask.